YouTube friends. Today I'm sharing a Costco haul with you. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Meredith and welcome to my channel, Marivelle Trades. I live in the Twin Cities area of Minnesota. I have three kids and a husband and you will most days find me tooling around in a minivan. Yep, that's how cool I am. <laughs> I do a grocery hauls here on my channel. I do a Costco haul every single month and I also do beauty, lifestyle, and fashion unboxing. So if that sounds like a good time, definitely hit the red subscribe button down below and we can hang out more often. Also, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up, it really does help me out. All right, I'm going to try and get some footage in the store, but my local Costco is usually pretty busy, so I'll see if I get any uninterrupted clips. All right, let's get into this. Just to give you, just to give you a little perspective, this is the line. All right, and now it's time for the haul. So a couple of months ago, I did a video and it was my largest Costco haul ever and somehow I managed to top that. So now this is my largest Costco haul ever. A lot of it's non-food items, so don't come for me in the comments, but let's go ahead and get right into this. So first of all, we got a pack of fireworks. Obviously, a lot of places are not doing a fireworks celebration. And to be honest, a lot of years we don't go just because the kids are little and it's way past their bedtimes. So a lot of times we will buy a pack of fireworks and just do them in our front yard. So this one is the Rising Lights uh, pack. And this one was $44.99, I believe. So and they did have a larger one that was like in the $65 range. I got some printer ink. This was like 62 bucks. So can you see where a hundred of it came from? This is The Betrothed and it's by Kiara Cass. I have read a bunch of her books before and absolutely love them. I have not read this one yet, but my sister-in-law, uh, who's one of my very good friends, is a librarian and she just read this and highly recommended it to me. So I'm going to give it a try. When I saw it, I was like, perfect, I'll pick that up. Um, we did get some of the premium dishwasher packs. We were running low, and I knew I didn't have enough to get through the next month. These, as I tilt you sideways, are the Beautyrest Black Luxurious Down Alternative Pillows with Tinsel. Um, this is a two-pack, and these were on sale for, I believe, $12.99. And my kids have actually been requesting new pillows. Theirs are too flat, they have decided. So I picked those up. It's always good to get some fresh ones. This is the City Lego set. This is the Fire Chief set. Felt like we could use a new Lego set for some rainy days that are forecasted coming up. I did get a 10-pack of Kleenex. Um, these are... I saw on Instagram, so I went hunting for them. These are the uh, Puma brand um, sports bras, and this is a two-pack. So it says it's wire-free, seamless 360 stretch, moisture wicking, and removable cups. And this is a two-pack. They did also have another color option. This one's sort of like a bluish gray and a gray and black option. The other one was, uh, I think there was like a hot pink magenta version, and then a gray one to go with it, so... We did pick up the King's Hawaiian Twin Pack. These, I'm gonna do barbecue pulled chicken sandwiches and we'll put those on those buns. They're delicious. What's not to love? I did get a large bag of the uh, broccoli florets. We like to do sheet pan oven roasted broccoli. So that's what that is for. Got a big pack of baby spinach. So I think I'm going to do um, like a pasta with broccoli and spinach in a cream sauce because that sounded good. And we're also going to be making some of our own homemade ice cream. My mother-in-law is up visiting again. We hadn't had her over for a visit in almost, uh, actually over three months. So we are pretty pumped that she's here visiting us. The kids have been having a blast and I've been really loving getting uh, an extra set of hands around here. So yay for my mother-in-law. <laughs> um, but we, she brought up her ice cream maker because I figured that would be a fun project we can do with the kids because I'm just trying to come up with any and all ideas I can. So I found a really good uh, peanut butter, like Reese's peanut butter cup ice cream recipe online. It looked good, so we're gonna try it out. If it's good, I will try to remember to link it in the description box in case you guys wanna try it for yourselves. We did get a bag of the organic Gala apples. I like that these apples will just last a little bit longer because a lot of the fresh produce from Costco, you have to eat it up pretty quickly, but these will last us a while longer and I can't keep fresh fruit in this house. 
I did get a three pack of the French Vanilla Creamer. This is a pretty much every time purchase for me. These are the Motor City Pizza Company Double Pepperoni Detroit Style Deep Dish Pizzas. Now, as you can see, I bought two packs. <laughs> They're coming open on the sides, but I bought two of these. We got these last time. They're really good. I had never had Detroit Style Deep Dish Pizza, but to be perfectly honest, it's just like Chicago style deep dish pizza as far as I can tell. So if anyone knows what the difference is, please leave it in the comments below. But to me, it just tastes like Chicago deep dish. Shout out to all my Detroit friends. Um, we got one of the four packs of the Kirkland brand cheese pizzas. This is pretty much an every time thing. We do Friday night movie night with pizza every week. So I'm sure you guys have heard me say that a million times now. We got some of the Wild Planet Albacore Tuna. This is good. It's sustainably pull and line caught, which I love. Um, I like to try and reduce my impact on the environment whenever I can. Um, we did get some of the tacos. These are the, uh, it's two of the 15 count bags of tortillas. We do a lot of tacos, quesadillas. You, you know what tortillas are for. <laughs> We did pick up two of the packs of these cotton candy grapes. My family will eat like this whole pack in like a day and a half. The kids and my husband just inhale these. And last time I bought a pack and I was hoping to get to freeze some because several people had told me how great it was and they were gone before I had a chance to freeze them. So I bought two packs with the hope that at least some of them will get frozen as a fun treat for the summer. I did get a two pack of these mini seedless watermelons. Um, we haven't had watermelon yet this season, so I picked that up. Should be really good. We got some of the Plainville Farms oven roasted organic turkey breast. This comes in three separate packs, which I absolutely love. Um, the date on these is for 9 14 20. So um, these will last us a good long time. We like to open one pack each week, and then we have fresh lunch meat every week and we don't have to go out to the store. So it's especially great, you know, in terms of, you know, pandemic, maybe you're not trying to go to the grocery store as often, but even during, you know, regular times, it's great because I just have a new pack to open up. And even if one is gone, you know, we just have more on hand. You get what I'm saying. Anyways, talkative today. We did get some of the hard salami, again, with the two packs. They're separate, so, you know, we can open one and eat it, yada, yada. We did get two packs of the 24-count organic eggs. We really like these. Um, and then up here, we got some of these Johnny Pops. There are eight of the chocolate fudge and eight of the strawberries and cream. These are delicious. If you are not dairy-free, I highly recommend them. Speaking of dairy, it's like a tower of dairy. <laughs> um, we got the 12 pack of the Nusa yogurts. There's blueberry, strawberry, rhubarb, and lemon. The lemon is my personal favorite, but I think all three are good. We got some of the Good Culture Cottage Cheese. These are the 2% low fat cottage cheese individual cups, and there are 12 of them, and this is $9.99 at Costco. We got some of the Super Premium Vanilla Ice Cream. This stuff is really good, and I'm hoping to make um, some desserts, like maybe like you know, apple crisp or that type of thing, or maybe a peach cobbler, and then we can top it with some vanilla ice cream because that sounds delicious. We did pick up some of the organic ground turkey. Now this is a little bit different than how they normally package it. So I don't know if it's always gonna be like this or what the deal is, but these are now in one and a half uh, pound packages instead of three one pound packs. So I'm not as big of a fan of that because I we try not to eat as much meat anymore. Um, just for environmental reasons, and so I kind of wish it was in the three-pack, just personal preference. However, let's be honest, I could totally do one of these as ground turkey tacos, and it will certainly get eaten, so there's that. Otherwise, I can split them. Okay, so these are the uh, packs of the skinless, boneless chicken breasts. Again, normally you get, you know, six packages that are all kind of all attached together. This time there's just two, however it's a lot less chicken. So this one was $14.65 and all of the packs were right around uh, $15. Also the price of the ground turkey did go up, just FYI. These looked really good. So these are the caramelized onion and white cheddar cheese charbroiled chicken burgers. We have never had these. Have any of you guys tried these? If you have, let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to know how we like them, leave me a question down below in the comments. And as soon as we have tried them, I will answer and let you know uh, my review on that product. So, or if you have questions about any of the items, we got three pounds of uh, bananas. We got 
two of the packs of uh, baby carrots. They are attached. So these are just nice to have on hand, uh, quick for lunches and snacks. We did get some of the uh, pink, the crisp pink or pink lady apples. Um, we've really been enjoying these. I got two of the large packages of strawberries. Seriously, my family can eat one of these like with dinner one night. Like they just, they go. They're just, this is two days worth of strawberries. <laughs> My kids inhale fruit. I did get a package of cherries. These just looked really good and I have rhubarb in my backyard growing. So I have done cherry rhubarb crisp before and it's delicious. It's a little on the tart side, but if you like tart desserts, you'll really like that. Just trust me, give it a try, it's good. <laughs> um, I got a pack of the Daisy Sour Cream. This is a pretty much every time thing. We got some of the Rayo's homemade marinara. This stuff is absolutely delicious. And if I make this without meat, we can get at least two meals with one jar of, like two boxes of pasta and one jar of sauce. So like we might have spaghetti twice in one week, or sometimes I'll use half the jar and then freeze the other half and use it in a couple of weeks. Um, we did pick up some of the Hidden Valley Ranch home style dressing. We love to dip our carrots and our cucumbers and all that good stuff in there. I got two of the 24 packs of the organic fruit and vegetable pouches. My kids inhale these, especially my little one. We got two packs of the Go-Gurts. Again, we do not have trouble going through these. And if for any reason we did, or I was concerned that they might expire, I would throw them in my freezer and we're good to go. Cheez-Its because my children would revolt without them. <laughs> I got one pack of the four count boxes of Triscuits. I did notice they were pretty low on the Triscuits, so I'm not sure if they're coming back. I forgot to check the sign for the asterisks to see if they were um, discontinuing them. I did pick up the six pack of the colored bell peppers. We love them. One of my favorite veggies, kind of a staple for us. We did get two of the packs of the Adams Reserve Extra Sharp New York Cheddar. You get 44 slices and we love those. It's great with Triscuits and tuna, just like a nice cold lunch where you don't want to cook in the summertime. We got one pack of the Kerrygold Dubliner cheese. We got a three pack of cucumbers. Again, this is like, well, this is like two days worth of cucumbers, like just to put it in perspective. Um, we did also get um, the organic tortilla chips. This is a staple for us. These are absolutely the best. We love them. And there is a huge flavor difference between the regular Kirkland tortilla chips and the organic ones. I think they just have completely different manufacturers, but don't quote me on that. These are new and sounded really good. So shout out to Joe C, who has a channel here on YouTube, if you're watching. She was asking me about sweet potato fries. A lot of times I will make my own, but let's be honest, these looked good, and this is just a nice, quick, and easy dinner option. So these are vegan and gluten-free, so we're going to give those a try. Um, this is the shredded cheddar jack cheese. There's two bags that come together. We open one one month and one the other month, and so that's two months worth of shredded cheese. I got a two pack of the honey wheat bread. We got some uh, lighters for lighting our campfires. We have a firing in the backyard, and also we have a charcoal grill, so we'll use those. And we were down to the last one, and it's getting empty. We got some uh, hamburger buns because I bought those chicken hamburger patties with the caramelized onions, so I figured we'd do buns to go with those. Um, and then this is the organic lemonade. This is on sale right now. And um, there are two gallons of milk. Whew. So that is everything <laughs> that we got at Costco. Uh, did you, I'm gonna insert a clip of the checkout line. Oh my goodness, it was absolute madness at Costco today. Like you could not get down the aisles. There was very little social, social distancing going on at my store. So thank goodness for my mask. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, definitely don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.